Today, what are we doing that we haven't done in a long time? We're going to shop at an antique uh, market. I mean, it's as much antique as any of the markets that are around here right oh, now. Antique yeah, it's mostly the most antique one in, that they have semi-regularly. But it is a mix of, of different things now. It used to be full-on, blown, heavy-duty, high-end antiques. I have no clue what it's going to be. We we didn't go last time, did we? Uh, have, have we gone since COVID? Or? Yeah, I don't think so, right? This is literally, our, right? It is our first time? Yeah, this is literally our first time. So we don't... In two or three years. So we don't know how much has changed. Normally on Sundays, we'd be doing... This, J this particular market used to be packed with vendors. Like, yeah. you could not get in. You had to be on a waiting list. Oh, to, if you want to sell. If you, if you want to sell. Yeah. Um, um, they charge regular people a buck to get in. And they charge people a dollar to get in. Yeah. And uh, it was known for antiques and collectibles. So yeah. When you go there, there's a lot of, like, old you, porcelain and, and, and glass and... Yeah. Silver and, and, and there is toys and stuff like that too. But yeah, usually but you see started, older toys. You know, you start to see a little bit more toys. Which toys now it could be more. anything. I just have but no now, clue. I think they have empty tables. I don't think there's like a waiting list. Is that, that what people tell you? Because I don't even know. You know. Well, let's see. Well, you know, a lot of these older vendors are either dying out or getting tired of doing this. COVID is effing uh, up a lot of the markets. Everybody's the, selling the, on Facebook. The and, product that they were selling. The younger generations aren't into it anymore. No, they're most not, of them aren't. Not, not in this area, at uh, least. Antique figurines and, and yeah, Dresden and, and Limoges yeah. dishes and I mean there might be a few, but not enough. Yeah. To uh, do all that work, like no. people don't understand how much work goes into doing a flea market. You gotta yep. get there early. You gotta carry all your boxes in. Yeah. You gotta set everything up. I almost expect there to be a lot of like, like, toys there. I I really don't I, know. That's what I'm assuming. I bet you gonna be a lot of toys. I'll be surprised to see if there's pops. They might there go with pops. That's gonna, I'm, okay, I understand pops are popular, but that's not like an antique collectible. No. You know, it's like. But it's collectible. But it is collectible. Yeah, you're yeah. right. It is collectible. But, um, <clears throat> you're gonna start seeing pops and. Yeah, uh, the thing about Pops, though, is, like, everybody just, like, s sit there and scan them, so... I'm waiting for that to just be, like, like Beanie Babies. Because remember back in the Beanie... Oh, my gosh. One time we were doing a high school... I'll give my opinion on that in a second, and but go ahead. And this lady had Beanie Babies. Yeah. And a guy wrote a check for $300 yeah. for a Princess Diana purple beanie bear. Yeah. And I was flabbergasted. Myself, you know, because here I am. I have some nice jewelry. I, you know, and everybody's Silver, telling me it's gold, expensive. Black. And he's putting out three hundred bucks for a beanie. And I, now, what is it worth? Nothing. Because I, I know people no, invested in their kids' college money. Yeah, that one lady. Yeah, we yeah. talked about her. But the issue lady. is, if, if you've got the first edition one, yes, yeah. it's worth money. Right. But. Because it was popular, they reproduced it a couple of other times. And each time they, I guess the, the beans inside are different or something. You have to x-ray them. Go to your dentist. I think there's something on the tag. <laughs> no, I think you x-ray them too. I don't know. Or maybe that's just those uh, bears. But uh, then there was a lady that was making good money because I think she worked for the company. Yeah, yeah, she's getting prototypes. So she was getting prototypes and she was selling those for like thousands of dollars. Yeah, no, that, that was but a rough now, crash. I'll, now I'll, take, I'll give you my opinion on the difference between Beanie Babies and Funko Pops. Okay, Beanie Babies are more non-specific. The only one you remember is the Princess Diana. Also, they had the um, Grateful Dead series, right? But it wasn't like Marvel, right? They never got the license for that stuff. It wasn't like uh, TV shows, Seinfeld. It wasn't like uh, any other action figure, DC. It wasn't anything like that. So I think that, uh, like even rap, right? I, like they didn't never had rap beanie babies, so I think that Funko Pops will retain more collectibles. More popular, right? They're all licensed figures. Anybody that likes Superman uh, will would buy a, a Superman uh, Funko Pop, or or uh, Spider Man, or uh, a Doc Ock, or, or like uh, Batman, or whatever. Anybody that likes that stuff uh, will buy it. So with Beanie Babies, it's just like I don't know. I don't even know their dogs. I, I, I don't even yeah, remember. It's all animals. Right. So that's why it's it's a kind of it's like cabbage patch dolls. You know what I mean? They're just they're like dolls. They're not like 
really well the, with the cabbage patch doll the very first one that the guy actually people collect the stuff that made fun of cabbage patch dolls in my opinion more than uh, cabbage patch dolls like what were the well, garbage pail kids here, but you got no garbage pail kids are popular no 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 that's not what I'm saying okay there's areas in this country where people are more into that kind of stuff just like there's you know decorative like stupid Norman Rockwell plates yeah you know we can't give them away but I might what's that thing where they shoot plates they were going for money in Nebraska shot not shot so, but what it, what is it when they shoot the plate plates they, they uh, pull the thing and the plate goes and you can shoot it Skeet shooting, right? Yeah, that's what Norman Rockwell plates are good for. Skeet shooting. Like, donate them. I, I don't even think you could literally eat off of them. You know what I mean? Well, they're not, they weren't meant for eating. No, they because they probably got display. lead paint in them or they something. You eat them and you'll the get, like, brain damage and nervous, ner neurological disorders and stuff like that. Yeah, so, it, it, so that's why I expect it, uh, our friend Nick might be there. You know, he might be. You know, uh, AJ well, he was did saying well that. There once before, so I don't know. I don't know. You know. He has to set up inside. Yeah, it's uh, sometimes it's a lot of work. You have to do really well. You know, for him, uh, if he's he semi well, pays up for the pops. Very expensive, that no, I don't think. I think it's like thirty five a table. Yeah, yeah but you only get one table. Yeah, yeah, pretty much you only get one table. I mean, we could have tried to do it, but I just don't care. You know, I'm just, I'm hibernating right now. I'm doing eBay. The markets that I would normally do, they're just not running them, and it's too cold. It's been like in the 20s every weekend. So I've been through this. I just, you know, I don't need to make a, a little bit of money and just, like, lose a finger from frostbite, you know, have my ear fall off. You know, it's not worth it. I'd rather just, um, just, do, just do eBay, hibernate, you know, I'm doing as much eBay as possible. Plus, we have to store. Um, so, so that's, that helps, uh, obviously, you know, but, um, okay, well, anyway, we're going there. I might just take a couple of just, uh, like a scan across the room. I'm not going to really video, uh, anything there. No, I just won't do it. You know, I don't, I don't video people so much. I'll video like, uh, uh, event or, or like I'll go to yard sales or just video stuff, but you know, it's, it's too hard. I'm, I'm actually going to be trying to look and I don't want to take forever. Um. All right, so anyway, we're going there, and uh, hopefully we'll find some stuff. I know you, you're mostly looking for jewelry. <clears throat> I'm assuming that I won't find any toys or um, or things like that. I think I'll probably, if I buy anything, it'll be oddball stuff in glass. You know, like that kind of stuff. stuff for eBay is what I'm assuming. Uh, certainly not for flea market. It should mostly be for eBay, you know. But all right, anyway, let's see what we got. Um, got money. Let's see if we get some stuff. Even more than wanting to film inside, I want to film the parking lot because this parking lot is filled. It goes like all the way, I don't know, what is that? That's like two blocks. So all over here, and we're about at least a, like say two city blocks or at least one block long. And a half. Yeah, well, more like it. Yeah, not an avenue, I'd say. So at least a block and a half. Um, I wonder if that's like a, a lane to get out. I guess not. I guess you could park there. So it is super crowded today. Doesn't leave me a lot of hope. See, that's not cool. Well, I, guess I, I, I think people can drive over snow. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I would have drove over that. <laughs> you probably like kick it out of the way. Yeah. No. But, yeah. I mean, there's. Yeah, but you see the. Oh yeah. It's like everybody. <laughs> I know. Maybe he stole it. Who knows? He le left it and had to run from the cops. Or well, maybe he saved his car for his friend. I got my two bucks. Oh, yeah. He's going to call him and he's going to come out and move it over. So yeah, you got it. That's probably what it is. Yeah, actually. But anyway, I got my $2 ready. Oh, I was going to take it out. No, I got it. Uh, you only have 20s. I only have a few small small bills and 20s. And probably hundreds. Yeah. But I don't see it being too hopeful today because there's like too many people here. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be like dig, dig, dig. All right, anyway, I'm cold. I'm going to turn this off, and I'm heading inside. Okay, I'm done with the Wayne Powell, and <clears throat> to be honest, I don't know exactly what I spent. I'm going to add it up later. It's between, it's more than 100. Uh, I think it's 150, uh, less than two, something like that. I don't know, for real. And here, you want to see the first thing I bought? <laughs> I don't know if you like this, but I thought it was pretty cool. 
Marie's like giving me that double tick. It was ten bucks. Sometimes these brass sculptures. This one is from Vietnam. No, I'll make that Korea. Uh, which should be older than Vietnam. That'll probably date it to maybe like the 60s or 50s or something like that. I don't know. That's something I have to research. Um, I don't think it'd be too much research, but I, I think these these sculptures do all right. And I liked it, so whatever. Ten bucks. As long as I can get 30 on eBay at least, please. Um, then I bought... Uh, these I paid ten for the two. And I don't know. It's like five bucks a piece. I couldn't really specifically find them immediately. Uh, they are different. And probably what I'll do is, since they're in package, even though they have crease and such, I don't believe I can sell these at the store. Um, I'll just put them on eBay as a lot, most likely. You know, I just, I don't know this. Are they the same? Ah, dang it. They're the same. Okay. I was hoping they'd be different. But I paid five a piece. I bought these off of our friend, um... Now, okay, let me just put that, in. yeah, all right, okay, and then what else is in here, oh, I bought this, what's funny is, um, I got this for 10, and someone had one very similar down, we've had this before, do you remember this, it's that Israel, uh, sterling over, um, over glass type of uh, glass. We've had it before. I bought it for 10. Down, down, down a ways it was 55 um, before I got to see it. And I'll show it in a second when Marie's done. Look at it. It's this from, is that it's like it's got wax inside. It's um, like, yeah, it might. It, but it's Israel. It's out of Israel. They yeah, were making all that yeah, stuff. For 10 cool. bucks, you know. Nice. Um, I'm not going to polish it. You At the other table, it. I'm not polishing it. Screw that no, crap. No, it's got goo on it. Well, that I'll, on. I'll clean the goo. I don't know what that's all about, but I will clean that. All right, let me kind of wrap that up. And I, th I think there's a little bit more in this bag. So what I say so far? 10, 20. Uh, what did I say on that? 10? I think I said 10, so maybe 30. Uh, what's this? Oh, I bought some perfumes. I don't want to put it on top of this. No, but the first one I picked up should pay for everything, and then the other two I think are okay. Anything Fabergé is usually pretty good, and this is a large size bottle for twelve dollars. I sold the small, small ones for like twenty-five, thirty-five, something like that. So this ought to be worth like at least forty, you know, maybe more. I don't know. And then, uh, then this one is uh, Replique. I can't remember if it's good or not. It was eight bucks. I, it came to twenty-five. She gave me three dollars off. And what was the other one? Got it. Are you going through your jewelry? There's one more. Oh, here it is. And this one I think is pretty good. Blue grass. Uh, anything by Elizabeth Arden that's old is usually all right. It's half full. But as long as it's worth like 25 fine. Okay, so that's that. Oh, and then, uh, oh, I got this. This is pretty cool. This is what I was telling you about. At first, I couldn't tell if it was old or new, but I liked it. And I, I wasn't sure if it was coral or some kind of stone or something. Uh, is that was that broken? Let me put my glasses on. That might be 15 down the hole if it's damaged. Better not be. All right, let's see. Yeah, that looks like it was damaged. What? Like, uh, like all the way across, because the line seemed. You know, I sometimes you see a line in the stone. Well, this was. That's what I'm saying. I'll tell you it's re-glued. So that's like 15 down the hole. What was in here? Uh, it's pretty cool. I got this off of uh, John. So, I should have I should have just uh, taken a more careful look, I guess. You're not good at seeing without the glasses. Uh, well, I didn't have strong glasses. And, you know, a lot of times I expect people to just say, oh, that was... Unless I don't know. Uh, I guess not. But... This is for... I got this off of Al, too. This is for some... For a car. You know? Some kind of ornament thing. And it's kind of cool. It says yeah. something on it. Oh, good. All right. You look at that. I just... I think he charged me like five bucks. I'm still not keeping track of what I spent for everything. It says Newark, New Jersey. Okay. 
I got this off of John too. So so far, I would say I only made one boo boo. Lincoln Art Manufacturing Company. Okay, I'll figure out what it is. Lincoln Art Manufacturing. Let me show it one more time. It's kind of a. Oh, and I got here. I'll show you this. You can look at this. Well. Oh, it's a nutcracker. Yes, but it's kind of a cool one. That was like five bucks. I can get like twenty five for it. It's a knight on a horse. It's very Art Deco. You know what I mean? Don't you agree? Okay. And this is uh, what is this? A parrot? Yeah, it looks like it. Or an eagle. Oh, yeah, maybe an eagle. I'm an eagle, you idiot. And then I got this. No roof for the Smurfs house. But he only charged me eight bucks. And then there was Smurfs. No roof? And yeah, but he only charged me eight bucks. And then there's five Smurfs in there. Or six Smurfs. Got the window. Oh, that one's an ornament. I just, for eight bucks, who cares? The last one I sold um, was missing something. And I got like 50 for it or, or whatever. It was smaller. This is a large one. So, I think that's it in that bag. Let me take, I got super strong glasses on it. You know. I think overall, with that stuff, I'm okay. I only made oh, one mistake, but I still have some more stuff I got. What are you checking on? Your stuff? This, this. Now, overall, though, even with what I bought from um, John, I'm okay, because even if that has damage, it as a gift or something. This is fragile, so I'll put this on top. So this is my light bag. And this is my other bag. Let's do this. And then the main thing I got, I'm not going to show just yet. This is pretty good. I got this for five, and it scans around 40. It's a two-head uh, missile attack kangaroo rat Hulk. Hulk Outcast. So, you know, like, all the radiation that screwed up the Hulk and made him very strong? Well, I guess maybe he got some more radiation. Now he's got two heads. Um, and it's a little beat up, but he was he was said, ah, I got that for too long. I'll just get rid of it. Uh, I, you know, I can't even remember. And I, I only paid five for that. Oh, I got uh, two side striker. I think they're side striker. But here. These are 15 for the two, so seven apiece. Pardon me. One is. Why would he pile them on top oh, of it? Good. One St. Patty's. But it's like that's weird. He he put them he piled them on top of each other with no paper in between. And this one's an angel. See. <laughs> <laughs> nice catch. So there. That one is a four a three leaf clover. And that one's an angel. Which is, wait a minute, isn't four-leaf clover lucky or three-leaf clover's lucky? Four-leaf clover. So what the hell? It's a shamrock. Yeah, okay, so it's it's not for luck, it's just like Irish. Right? Yeah, you would think, eh, whatever. It would be like shamrock. Okay, so I got that, and then I think, what else is in here? I, I think these were like a steal. And I don't even know why they were there. Um, Captain Lou Albino. Albano, Albano, Albino. I looked, and his fingers look good. And he looks to be in pretty good condition. There's only like three bucks. I mean, well, actually, let's see. No, they were four dollars. I think I paid. I paid fifteen for all the rest. You're gonna see. Here's um, oh man, I I, oh, I just had a brain fart. I can't remember his name. It's um, you guys know who it is. Snap too soon? No, I don't think so. Maybe Randy Savage. Oh, and um, the Sheik. I've I've seen and had so many of the Sheiks, but this one's in good condition. Uh, his fingers look good. These are the uh, LJNs. These in poor condition are are more than ten for sure. So in this condition, they should be ten to. I'm not really sure. Threw this in. Oh, I got this. And the only two. Uh, even though it said 10 on it, he only charged me like three or something dumb like that. So that, these are all good buys. Um, and I think that's it except for one thing that is big. And I'm gonna, I'd have to get out of the car to show it. And uh, I'll just show it later. All right, because I have to add Marie's jewelry in too. All right. Okay. Uh, I might as well just show this now. I've never seen this before. I can't find it anywhere. So you can see it. This is a Ralph Lauren monogram lighted counter display. 
Uh, I think it's it definitely has some age. I thought maybe it went back to the 70s because of the lucite and the uh, chrome, but maybe it's older. And that is a weird light fixture uh, plug. This would make me think 50s. It does work. Uh, here's what the back looks like. I, I can't find it. I can't find it anywhere. There's the schematics. careful um, they had it for 110 but they gave it to me for 70 yeah. all right. All right. I don't know well it's got four screws Phillips so it can't be that old that plug just confused me I thought monogram was big from like the 70s so that's where I think it's from especially with the lucite and stuff but I can't find one like it so in my mind if I'm gonna put it to auction and I'm going to ask like 350 for it because it's actually surprisingly heavy. It's not huge, you know, but it's definitely interesting. It's the only one there's, as far as I can tell, I, I can't find any, with a quick search, I couldn't find any on the internet, including WorthPoint and, or, and Google. But anyway, that's what I got. And next I'll show what Marie got. Bye. Okay. Um, I'll just, what, this way and just go. Well, I, I did a, pr a pricing Okay, Mine's. so you want me to start here? Or? Well, those up there were a dollar each. Wow. That one is Mother of Pearl. Any I, no, no no name, right? It's new, no, but it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the the white one is lucite. The pink one is lucite with rhinestones. That's pretty. Uh, and Turner. they call this Moon Glow, right? Yeah, that's Moon Glow. That one I paid five dollars for that set. It's very sparkly in it's my a nice camera. Wedding set. Yeah, and it's it's new. Right? It's contemporary. Well, it's a, a more contemporary because it's got the lobster claw. But it so, could be 80s, so it's still vintage. Yeah, and I mean, anybody that just wants a nice rhinestone this is going to ask This Chico's, the yellow this and one? the white. Yeah, that okay. was a dollar. Not bad. Now, this might... Do you want me to go here? I don't think uh, I should have... That's glass. Oh, this is glass? Those are glass beads. Nice. And that was a dollar. That's good. Okay. Now, this might be rock crystal. Okay. I got that for uh, Old barrel $2. Class. Not bad. And I got this silver tone. Uh, that's like mid-century uh, yeah. for $2. Okay, now this one? This one has uh, gold foil glass beads. So do you think it's that a Murano? I, well, the beads are Murano. I don't know. All right, nice. Necklace. Could and be beads, Japan or, or definitely Murano? It could be Japan. Okay. Uh, but uh, that was three... Some the ones that are three dollars, they were four dollars or three for ten. What do you what you spend on everything? Uh, I have to. I think like a hundred and twenty. Yeah, you said a hundred twenty. That's. I don't. This is some kind of rutilated. This is watermelon quartz, but okay. it's some kind of rutilated quartz, which pretty. I thought was pretty. Yeah, it's definitely. Pretty. I just had to untangle these droopy things. Okay. This uh, these are like I believe they look African beads. Yeah, it kind of looked that way to me. Because Tribal. They they like to use these little tiny striped. Seed beads, beads and those aren't seed. Beads. I know they're not, but seed they like seed beads. Tiny. Like see this next to it. Yeah, That's this seed. this is seed beads. Yeah. I just really like that it, with That's the red, cool. the blue, the gold, and the green. Looks That's very eighties, really nineties to me. Yeah, there's a name for this kind of a necklace. That's this like wrapped seed bead. Seed bead. Okay. This is the same. Oh, I see. Just except color. it has a glass. Oh, pendant. Uh, part. Pendant. Yeah. And that some wasn't added on, right? No, that's part of it. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, All right, so we'll you do the did the pins last. Okay, so we'll just go through. Uh, this was um, Erica Lyons. This was part of the three dollar, uh, the the three for ten. You said the lady had a lot of this, but it's, it's yeah. But I looked it up online, and it doesn't go for a 10, lot. 15. Plus, the colors are very fall. Yes. So and that so oh, what she must have what she might have had was like fall stock, like okay. that they were getting rid of. Erica. Um. But I like the orange in this with the brown. Yeah, that kind of pumpkin. Nice. It's yeah. kind of a pumpkin. If yeah. it's not coming through for you, it's this, pumpkin. This is all a triple layer agate. I got that from the 3 for 10. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, this I paid more for, but it's like super long. Yeah, I see. It's it's, um, it's like, uh, it's got to be at least uh, 30, oh, let's see, 12, it's 24. It's like 60 inches. So, yeah, so it'd be like 50, 60 inches. Yeah, um, and it's, it's all... Agate. You said this online doesn't sell for a ton of money, well, but... Well, I don't know. i got to look it up. Some people put them on for a lot of money. Okay. All right. Hey, you want to do these? I didn't do uh, this. This twisted seed bead, this is like 60s. Yeah, definitely. Um, is and it I, Japan? It, had the, um, it looks like it might be. Okay. Kind of looks like Japan. 
the way it's marked, I can't really tell in this light. It's there, probably it Japan. Matter. And this is Lucite, too, with the grape. I thought this was so cool. That's the little pretty choker cool. with the grape. I actually saw some of those Lucite grape clusters that yeah. people used to use as decoration. But I asked you about it, and you're like, meh, because they mm. wanted $25 a piece. Mm. And I, you know, if they were 5 or $10, I'd be I like, would, yeah. yeah, 10 I would be like, yeah, okay, that's but, no big deal. Because they weren't very big. I would have offered. I saw. They only had, like, six grapes on them. Yeah, I would have offered, like, maybe 30 for the two, yeah. but I was like, I don't want to ask. Uh, this it. is uh, Metropolitan Museum. It's sterling silver bookmark. It's oh, marked there good. at the bottom. Okay, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I see it. Okay, yeah. very good. Um, these are Lucinda pins. Different but they're ones. odd ones that I had never seen before. Yeah, I never seen it. SOS Save the Polar Bears. I, I don't you know. know. Well, those are polar bears. So yeah. SOS, we need I, help. At first, I thought maybe they were seals, like save our seals. Yeah. Oh well. But yeah. they're not seals. They're polar bears. Yeah, so, but I, I see what you're saying about. I like, don't know. Polar bears eat seals. I think. I don't know. Save our snow. I don't know. This SOS. one's hope. This I just like because it's hope, joy, trust, love. I thought it was nice. Nice message. And this. I don't see many of these Lucinda like butterflies. It is ones. unusual. It okay. is an unusual. Uh, next was this glass fish that I thought was like super. There's cool. a name for this kind of stuff. Um, with, with that that glittery whatever, it is super cool. Diacroic. Okay, this is actually. It's. I don't think this is glass unless it's. That's glass. Is it? Yeah. Well, then it's got a weird finish on it. This. Um, these were two for Israel five. Israel stuff. And it says Bethlehem on it, which is oh, good. Oh, that's when they're better. When they marked Bethlehem, it's that's, better. That's older. It dates yeah. them more. Yeah. Um, these, these little guys. These two little enamel bows are marked Made in Italy, and they've got some age, but the enameling is nice, and it's not cracked or broken or no, chipped. it's nice. It is nice, actually. Um, I got this from the same guy. They're like these little enamel. You think they're buttons, you said? I Do you think, think they go through stick pins, like, say, a small stick pin? And and then this is like yeah, but I was to, thinking that if they you know you could use it like, like a on a pearl? bead, but the problem is the back isn't finished. No, but say you have a stick pin that's a pearl, right? So it's rounding, and you push the stick pin through here, and then it has the part that goes here to tap it off. So it's like something that would that would accent. I mean, you said maybe buttons, but it's only like one hole. But if you put it like, but you just put a knot in it, a big fat knot. No, I know, but say I was thinking more like something like no, because then the bottom the bottom is is nothing. Well, it depends because if you push the stick pin all the way up to there, and if and there's a bead in there, it's going to cover the enameling. So, well, what well sense if it's a small make? pearl, I don't know. That, I was thinking like maybe. Okay, um, this, this is a J Strongwater. It's marked J S on the back. Okay. It's just a straight like a hat. Uh, pin. If you don't know who J Strongwater is, he does uh, kind of uh, what, what do you he call it? Like enamel. He does a lot of different or... types of enamel. He does yeah. pins, yeah. vanity stuff. Uh, this is just an old Art Deco. Uh, I had to buy. Where's the other one? Oh, I here's a stick pin. This one right there. No, I bought these two together. Oh, you bought those because together. it was twelve dollars each or two for twenty. Okay, saved five so, bucks. Yeah. Four bucks. Okay, and then to finish it off. And then this is a, a very tiny mosaic. Yeah, it's really small. Really small. Than small your micro mosaic, and it's micro, got eight hundred on the back. Yeah. I have to try and strike oh, 800, that so does that mean it's... This is 800 silver, this one. Wow, okay. And then this is another micro mosaic. I like the way it looked. It's yeah. an older one. Uh, there was more micro mosaic there, but supposedly some lady came and bought like no, all... No, 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 Millifury. Millifury, oh, I see. And then this is a Bob Mackie pin. Which is... Pro Do you think this is the most valuable thing here? Or um, maybe the strong water? Or maybe even this. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, but so it's like this, this, or even this, the museum. I don't know. Okay, so I could not one, find one like it one, online. One, two, three, maybe those four pieces. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it'd pay for everything, but it's just you know, it I would put a nice dent in what you paid for stuff. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, that's everything Marie got, and uh, yeah, my stuff comes before this. All right. Bye.